Welcome back, MTG traders, speckers, and gamers. Another week has gone by, and you know what that means. The mail's been piling up. So without further ado, let's get started. Ma! The mailbag! Ma! Bring me the freaking mailbag! All right, let's see what we got. And here we go again. All right, let's get started. We have an Urza's Sunder. I forgot I even picked this up. All right. Return all lands to owner's hands for an EDH deck. I tried to get some more of those, but uh, I did not win the bid. So, one Sunder so far. I don't remember if I won any more. Whoa, bunch of loose cards in with uh, cards I ordered. All right, it's interesting. We have ten showcase ruin crabs. All right, so I guess we got some. Uh, Extra bonuses here. This person decided to give us some extra cards. Rubble reading. Uh, Nauseous Grudian and Sylvan Bush Rider. Bush Strider. All right. I really like these. Full Art Ruin Crabs. They, uh... Are a great card. Oh, I got a quench too. Awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten it is. Individually sleeved, no less. So perfect. Good pickup there. I'm a fan of uh, Rune Crab. I think uh, that card has room to grow. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 44 cents for the full art showcase, as they're calling it. And, huh, how about that? We've got some more ruined crabs, because 10 ruined crabs is just not enough. No packing slip with this one, so we're going to have to see how many we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think this is probably the order of 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, eighteen. Eighteen and ten. What's next? What else did we get? What am I buying here? I don't even remember. And then this envelope is sealed up pretty tight. Oh, 10% off all singles. Thanks, Untapped Games. Oh, look at that. More Ruin Crabs. Because apparently, eighteen and ten, twenty-eight full art Ruin Crabs is not enough. So let's see how many we got uh, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve full art ruin crabs. Gee, I hope we got something besides just ruin crabs in this uh, mail mail pack. That would be kind of uh, anticlimactic, wouldn't it? Uh, this one we got a uh, sheet with. Of course, they taped the sheet. I'm not a fan. Not a fan of excess tape. <laughs> I bet you guys will never guess what I got. Mm. Apparently, 
More ruin crabs. Who knew? Oh, also individually sleeved. Three more ruin crabs. Seems good. 21 envelopes. I really hope they're not all ruined crabs. Well, we did get a sunder. All right. All right. This is a good pickup here. I uh, like this. I've talked about this before. And, uh, yeah, found some more. Basalt monoliths. Foil. I like these. This is the first time that uh, basalt monolith has been in foil with the exception of the showcase or extended or full art whatever they're talking calling it right there's a full art one i think or no the um mm, the in not invocation what was the uh, kaladesh the special uh kaladesh cards inventions right i think there's an invention that's foil but other than that no other foil basalt monoliths and uh, that's why I'm picking them up. All right, so far I have not picked up any of the uh, regular ones. Foil only. All right, what do we got here? No more rune crabs, please. Ah, yeah. All right. Full art soul rings. Look at these things are gorgeous. Also individually sleeved. Hmm, that's new. Haven't been, uh, not many vendors normally do this, and uh, we've had quite a few this time. I am a fan. All right, those things are beautiful. Anyway, uh, $4.98 for full art, non foil sole rings. Seems like a good deal to me, so I grabbed some. don't think I found any more under five dollars but if I do I will certainly pick them up what's next uh, also no invoice here so no idea what I paid for these command towers Command Towers. This may have been a uh, not a spec purchase, but a uh, pickup for decks that we are building to go on eBay. I think that's what these are. I think that's why we picked these up. So not a spec, but uh, every Commander deck needs Command Tower, and we're building Command decks. So Commander decks. So uh, yeah, we needed some extra Command Towers. All right. Hmm. There we go. We do have one here. We have a TCG packaged. Multiple vendors, of course. Uh, looks like 21 Pringled <laughs> Basalt Monoliths. I'll just straighten these out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yep, twenty-one. They're all here. Foil basalt monoliths. Cool. What else did TCG Direct send us? What else did we order? Huh. All right. Some more command towers, apparently. We ordered 50 command towers. Again, for EDH decks, commander decks. Online. Uh, 
some scare tillers also for commander decks that we sell online ran out of those so ordered some of those 36 scare tillers and then we did get a spec let me separate that out from the uh, rest of the command towers we got approach of the second sun this card has one of those alternate win conditions so basically you cast this card you gain seven life it goes seventh from the top of your deck and then if you cast it a second time during the game you win the game i've actually been playing this on arena in a deck and uh, it doesn't have a great win rate to uh, about 50 55 percent but uh it's uh <laughs> it's such a goofy card and such a weird win condition sometimes i actually just feel bad uh playing it because you know you just insta lose to this thing but uh lots of fun spec target i think this uh has a chance of going up so i picked them up and i uh, got 36 of them yep all right cool put that off to the side let's keep going Anyway, if I don't have the price, I don't have the price on uh, on Approach of the Second Sun here. I just got a total for all the cards I got from that vendor. So I'll, I'll put the price up there in the video so you guys can uh, see the prices of the cards. All right, this is a spec. Uh, I saw this card, and I thought it's uh, pretty unique. And you guys know I like unique cards, cards that do something that other cards don't do. Uh, I picked up, looks like just two of these. Probably just found two at this price and thought it was a great price. Uh, this was $1.68 at the time. The Extended Art Skyclave Relic. I like this thing. It's a mana rock. But uh, there's plenty of mana rocks for three. But what I like about this is, one, it's indestructible. And two, you can kick this card. And if you kick it, you get uh, two additional uh, copies of Skyclave Relic. Now, the copies come in tapped, so you have to wait a turn to use them. But uh, for six mana, you get, uh, you get three mana rocks that are indestructible. So uh, I thought that was a pretty good thing. I like the uh, artwork on this extended art for a dollar sixty-eight. I picked them up, and I'm hoping I can find some more at that price. If I do, I'll get some more. What do we got here? Ah. Yes. Uh, so, uh, I used to be a big fan of uh, Puka Trade, and uh, I got quite a few Expedition lands from uh, Puka Trade. But uh, Puka Trade has uh, not been very good for a little while, and I decided to try, what's it called? Cards Fair. I decided to try Cards Fair. And um, Cards Fair, you can actually just dump money into. And then set a list and people will just send it to you. And then it looks like you can actually just purchase if you wanted to. Uh, so anyway, I dumped 50 bucks into Card Sphere and then set a list. And this is some of the stuff that I've been picking up. The Glimmer Void is a spec for me. Pretty cheap. And the price, actually, interestingly enough, is uh, on some of these things, is pretty cheap. Cheaper than TCG. So... And uh, you don't have to pay shipping. The uh, seller pays shipping. So I was like, ah, let me throw 50 bucks in there and see if uh, people are actually sending out cards. So this is my first one from uh, there, Glimmer Void. And uh, two full art Mythos of Eluna. Mythos of Eluna is a spec target of mine as well. I think this card is going to be a phenomenal card in EDH Commander. Um, you make a copy of literally anything on the field and uh if it's a creature 
and you play you pay green red you can have it fight another creature uh so uh yeah i mean this is for four this does something that uh no other card in magic uh, does you can copy anything so if your opponent has a, a Gaius Cradle, if your opponent has, uh, you know, Phyrexian uh, Tower, whatever, uh, you can copy uh, uh, Cabal Coffers. I mean, you can copy anything uh, on the field. So, uh, yeah, I think this card is amazing. I think it's got a lot of room to grow, and I picked it up. Like I gotta sharpen my knife. I mean, my letter opener. All right, uh, this might actually be another card sphere uh, order. I think it is. Yep, card sphere order. Hmm, what did I get from card sphere? Oh, look at that. Are you, are you guys shocked, surprised? Um. Basalt monoliths. Royal basalt monoliths. Do them. Go. Cool. Go right into the basalt monolith pile. Whee! First it was ruined crab. Just couldn't get away from those crabs. They were everywhere. And now, Basalt Monolith. <laughs> Another one. I'm really, if they're under three bucks, I've been picking up every single one I could find under three dollars. So, there might, there might be some more in here. We shall find out. I hope there's some other cool stuff. Let's see what else. What else would I have gotten? Hmm. What is this? This is a newspaper. What's on sale? I miss Black Friday. Man, I could have gotten a Roku SE streaming media player for seventeen dollars, but I missed out. All right that off the side now let's see what i did get i got a folded over card sleeve oh oh yeah this is also a card sphere uh card sphere thing i think yeah we got uh all right we got a fertilid foil fertilid spec target of mine we got another glimmer void an Imperius Perfect, Maelstrom Nexus, a Foil Maelstrom Nexus, and a Foil Path to Exile. Good spec target right here, Path to Exile. That's a good pickup. That thing will uh, will go up in price for sure as long as uh, they don't print it into the Oblivion. cut the cards in there Woo! almost almost what do we got here oh well oh, shocker i can't believe we have more approach of the second sun one two three four five six seven approach of the second sun What we got here? This one looks like we can just open it. Sure. Thank you. Why? You're welcome. And we have ah something I did not expect. Wow. Foil basalt monolith. <laughs> All right. Cool. Don't have enough of those. 
you can never have enough foil basalt monoliths. And, and, oh, yeah. All right, I'm glad to see these because uh, I was disappointed we only had two earlier. But uh, we've got some, uh, we've got some foil, sky clay relics. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, that's a tight fit there. There we go. The little sticky, sticky thing. CG player, Skyclave Relic, we've got uh, four, eight, what did I get these at? Skyclave Relics, a dollar thirty-one for eight, and then a dollar ninety-nine shipping, so twenty-one ninety-four total for eight, not bad. Add those to the pile we have already got. Down to the wire. We got three envelopes, people. Three envelopes. Oh. Another unexpected purchase. Another basalt monolith. He was nice enough to tell me this one's near mint. Near minty. Smells minty fresh. All right. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. We have, this is a card you guys haven't seen yet. I do like this card. Again, a unique card that does something that uh, no other card does in Magic. Uh, Mirage Mirror. Pick these up for $4.99 each. We got four of them. Again, this thing's amazing. You can you play it, you can pay two mana, and you can make this a copy of any artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. And you can activate this multiple times in a turn. So you can make it a copy of something, then make it a copy of something else, and make it a copy of something else. So, pretty sweet. Seems amazing with anything that's uh, got triggers. All right. Ooh. We got the uh, black envelope here. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yes. Uh, another spec target. Another uh, card that does something uh, interesting. Wrong turn. Been trying to pick these up as cheap as I could. Target opponent gains control of target creature. So um, I can think of a ton of things you can do with this in uh, EDH that uh, you know uh, just can wreak all kinds of havoc uh, with games. Uh, you know, especially as political as EDH is, you can just say, "Hey, you know, you help me out, I'm gonna help you out." See that big fat creature over there? I'm just going to give it to you. I'm going to take it from somebody else. Did you swing at me last time? Mm, well, guess what? Uh, you're not going to be able to swing at me again. This guy can swing at you with your creature because you swung at both of us. So, uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to put this in a deck. Um, my Arkham Daxon deck. Uh, I'm going to be adding this to, uh, to that. And uh, five of these. And no slip, so again, I'll put the price up there so you guys can check it out and see what I paid for that stuff. I'll do that with all the cards that uh, I don't think I mentioned price for most of the stuff that I opened today. So I'll let you guys know what I paid for each of those. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's our uh, mailbag, 21 uh, envelopes 
a one and done. All right. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Let us know what you thought. Let me know if you want me to keep doing these. And we'll check you out later. Thanks. All right. That's the end of the mailbag video. I hope you guys enjoyed that second opening. We're getting ready to film next week's mailbag as soon as I'm done here. But I wanted to talk about the contest that ends tomorrow. If you guys haven't uh, looked at that video, I'll put a link up here so that you can go take a look at it. You can follow those instructions so that you can be entered into that contest. We're giving away 10 of my spec cards for anybody who enters. Again, you have until the end of day tomorrow, the 22nd, to enter that contest. So shoot over there and do that if you haven't done so already. All right. So now the 10 cards that we're going to be giving away. Card number one is a ghostly prison. Card number two is a priest of Titania from the Urza's block. Card number three is Wrong Turn, which you saw debuted in this mailbag. Card number four is Fulminator Mage. Card number five is a foil wooded bastion. Uh, card number six is the Extended Art Lotus Cobra. Card number seven is the FNM version of Opt. It's a gorgeous card, full art foil. Uh, card number eight is a foil Goblin Warchief. Card number nine is Wake Root Elemental. And card number 10 is a promo Rattleclaw Mystic. So if any of those cards interest you and you want to participate in that contest, head on over there and do so. And we will announce the winners after uh, tomorrow, after the contest ends tomorrow. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.